Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let's look at one more interesting example related to quadratic equations for 10th grade syllabus. Let's go through the problem. Find the base of an isosceles triangle whose equal sides are 17 cm each and the area is equal to 120 square cm. So, we have been given an isosceles triangle. We know that its equal sides are 17 cm each. We also know the area equal to 120 square centimeter. We have to find out the remaining side that is nothing but the base. So, how to do this problem? So, for that let us first write down whatever is given to us. We will just write them down. We have been given that equal sides are 17. So, I will say this is 17 and also we have one more 17 here. Two 17s I have and I do not know this side that is what I have to find out. Okay, so we have to just name it down. So we will take this value as x or 2x. We will take it as 2x because when I try to calculate the area, I will be using the formula half base into height and then I have to use Pythagoras theorem. When I use Pythagoras theorem, I do not have I do not want to have fractions, so I will just take it as 2x. So my answer for this particular problem will be twice the value of x whatever I am going to find out now by solving the quadratic equation. Okay, right. Now, what is the formula for area? Area can be obtained in two ways. One, you can say area equal to half into base into height and the other way you can find out the area is by using Heron's formula since we know all the three sides. Heron's formula says area equal to s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c where s semi perimeter is equal to sum of the all the three sides divided by 2 or perimeter by 2. So, there are the two ways how you can find out the area. In this particular example you can approach any one of these ways either you can do it by half base into height because it is a isosceles triangle. We know that in case of isosceles triangle my altitude will be also perpendicular bisector. So, I have 290 degrees there and this is divided into two equal parts now. So, one x here and the other x here because we know these two are equal and also we know these are given as equal sides. Now, let us say the height of the triangle which we do not know as h. Okay. Now, what is the formula for area? Area equal to area equal to half into base, base is 2x, we know that, into height. That is nothing but x into h. But how I can convert x in terms of, how I can give x in terms of, h in terms of x because h is unknown to us. That is where we will use the Pythagoras theorem and we will say h is nothing but equal to square root of 17 square minus x square. Why? Because 17 square equal to x square plus h square. If you consider the triangle, let us give the names there a, b, c and d here. If you consider the triangle a, b, d, we have 17 square equal to x square plus h square, hypotenuse square equal to sum of squares of remaining two sides. Now, this is the area, but we have been given that this value is nothing but equal to 120 square centimeter. So, we have been given that this is equal to 120 cm square. So, we are in pretty good shape now because we have got all the I mean whatever the equation we need in terms of x. So, only the thing is I see square root. So, let me square it up on both sides. It will become x square into 17 square minus x square equal to 120 square. So, now I have a quadratic equation in terms of x square. So, I will say let x square be let x square be equal to t, then I will have t into 289 minus t is equal to 1, 4, 4, 12, 12, 0, 144, 0, 14,400. 
Now this is a quadratic equation. We will take it to one side and we will write it as everything to right side will make it as t square minus 289t plus 14400 equal to 0. Now we have to get the value of t in such a way that the sum is 289 and the product is 14400. Also remember t should be a perfect square. t should be a perfect square. So we can write this as now t square minus 225t minus 64t plus 14000. 400. So that's just splitting the middle terms. If you are not getting it, you can use the quadratic formula by which you can say x equal to minus b plus r minus b square minus 4ac by 2a. You can go for that. That way also you can find out the value. So let me go to the next step. In the next step, we'll try to simplify this. So we will say t into t minus 225 minus 64 into t minus 225 equal to 0. So we get t minus 225 into t minus 64 equal to 0. And we know t is nothing but x square. That's what we did. So x square minus 225 into x square minus 64 equal to 0. Or can I say x square minus 225 equal to 0. That means x square is 225 or x square is equal to 64. If x square is 25, that means x equal to 15 or x square equal to 64, that means x equal to 8. So if x equal to 15 or 8, our solution is base is 2x. So we'll write down base is equal to 2x, which means base value is either 30 or 16. So the solution for this particular problem is base is either 30 centimeter or the 16 centimeter. Suppose we have been given the sides of the tri sides of the triangle in such a way that these two are not equal, then we will go for Heron's formula and the problem will be little bit more complicated. Here in this case, if you apply Heron's formula also, it will be easy only. But if the triangle is a scalene triangle, then it becomes a little bit complicated to solve that particular problem. Now, this is the easy version of that problem where we have an isosceles triangle. So we know both the sides are equal. We have to find out the base. So let's summarize before we wrap this up. We have been given an isosceles triangle in which two equal sides are 17 centimeter. We, we also have been given that the area is equal to 120 square centimeter. We have to find out the base, which is the remaining side, which is the missing side. So what is the formula for area? Area equal to half into base into height. So let us say that the base equal to 2x instead of x just only to make sure that I don't get any fractions. So I just try to avoid fractions as much as possible. Keeps it simple. Okay, so we have taken 2x. So 2x is divided into two equal parts x. Area equal to half into base into height. That means half into base 2x into height. Height we have to find out now. We know that it's a Pythagoras theorem we can apply on this right triangle because we know in isosceles triangle the altitude and perpendicular bisector are same. So h equal to square root of 17 square minus x square. So you just substitute that. You get x into square root of 17 square minus x square equal to 120. Now square root term on both sides. You get an quadratic equation in x square. So take x square equal to t. Solve for the t. Go back. Do the back substitution. Get the value of x. Once you got the x, your base is 2x. That's nothing but 30 or 16 centimeter. So you can create problems like this of isosceles triangles are equilateral triangles where you can solve them using quadratic equations. So I'll catch you once again with another interesting example. Thanks for your time and support. Bye for now.